Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to recover a file that you deleted from your computer by accident. If you just deleted the file and you didn't delete it from the recycle bin, it's pretty easy to get it back. All you have to do is go to the recycle bin, select the file that you deleted by accident, right click on it and select restore. If you deleted the file from the recycle bin, don't panic, there is a way to get it back. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is create a folder on my desktop. Now obviously if you deleted the file a while ago, or even if you just deleted it recently, the folder you're trying to recover it to is already going to be on your computer. I'm just going to do this so that I have a folder specifically for this video. So I've created a new folder. Now I'm going to take a screenshot of my computer screen, and I'm going to put it into the folder. Now that I've done that, I'm going to right click on the folder and see if I have an option for Restore Previous Versions. Alright, so I have Restore Previous Versions right here. If you don't see this option, then you're going to go into the control panel. Now go to system and security, and then you're going to go to system. Once you get to system, you're going to click on system protection. Now in this window, you have a list of available drives. So currently the only drive available on my computer is the C drive and the protection is currently turned on. Now, if you didn't see the option for restore previous versions, then your protection is probably turned off. Make sure you click on the drive containing the file you're looking to restore. Once you do that, you're going to click on configure. In the configure window, make sure you select restore system settings and previous versions of files, or only restore previous versions of files. The best one to go with is restore system settings and previous versions of files. Once that's selected, click on apply and then OK. Now click OK one more time. All right, now if you click on it, you should see the option for restore previous versions. Now I'm going to delete the contents of the folder. <laughs> now I'm going to go to the recycle bin and I'm going to delete it from here as well. All right, now that that's completely deleted from my computer, I'm going to go back to the folder, right click on it and select restore previous versions. As you can see, it says there are no previous versions available. Now, the reason why this happened is because I didn't have a restore point created on my computer before I deleted the file. So if you're running into this problem, unfortunately, you won't be able to recover the file using this particular method. Don't worry though, there are programs you can download to recover it that way, and I'm going to be doing a video on it at some point. Now I'm going to show you how to create a restore point, and I'm going to show you guys what happens if you already had a restore point created before you deleted the file. To create a restore point, the first thing you're going to do is go to the control panel. Now you're going to go to system and security, and then system. Once again, you're going to go to system protection. Now select the drive, and you're going to click on Create. It says type a description to help you identify the restore point. The current date and time are added automatically. So now you're going to type what you want to call the restore point. Now click on Create. Once that's done, click on Close and OK. Now I'm going to delete the contents of the folder one more time. All 
All right, now this is what happens if you already had a restore point created before you deleted the file. And it's going to work a lot easier this time. So I'm going to right click on it, select restore previous versions, wait for it to search. Now this time we see a restore point for the folder. So I'm going to click on that and then click restore. It says, are you sure you want to restore the previous version of new folder from today, April 20th, 2016, seven minutes ago. This will replace the current version of the folder on your computer and cannot be undone. So I'm gonna click restore and click okay. And click okay again. One thing I would definitely suggest is trying to get into the habit of creating a restore point on your computer on a regular basis. You don't have to do it all the time. You don't have to do it on a daily basis. You don't have to do it on a weekly basis. You don't even have to do it on a monthly basis. The best thing to do is create a restore point anytime you make any changes to your computer. Now it doesn't have to be any change, but if you're going to be making any really big changes, and especially if you're going to be deleting a bunch of stuff off of your computer, then it's really important that you create a restore point beforehand. Then if you delete something you need by accident, it's really easy to get it back. So that's how you restore a file that you accidentally deleted from your computer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.